it's time for some more torment. We'll leave the bar. And continue to look around. Well, don't gotta... I know debtors to this set walking ones looks like. What are you about? Well, what is it? Uh, the red hell go uh, the red-haired girl scowls as you approach and her tail begins to lash back and forth. Well, what is it? Um, I'm looking for someone named Farrah. Ah, yeah, I might. I might see more if you sweeten the question, I. Okay, never mind. Ah, All right. I've never seen something so ugly if not. Ah, well, Aye. that's done. Slow sigil day it is. All right. Done. All right, I'm gone. Don't talk to the hive thug. You see a heavyset looking man. He has a stone faced expression. Greetings! The man looks at you for a moment, grunts, then raises his hand, revealing a wicked dagger. He smiles evilly and begins twirling it in a menacing arc. Uh, farewell. Well, <laughs> killing thugs. It's one of our favorite pastimes. A huge monument. There is no name or plaque identifying what it is honoring. Done. Well, I want to find a merchant or something like that. Maybe buy a better weapon and then go see Farad. Go search him. Um, what are you about? Can I go in there? Done. Quentin! Done. Hi! The man before you looks to be middle of height and years. He's stout with a thick bullish neck and his shoulders are hunched as if a great weight was pressing upon them. He wears an impatient look as he stares at the black monolith in front of him. Greetings! The man throws you a glance. There's room, Cutter. No need to ask my leave to stand here. Actually, I wanted to know what this monolith was. It's a tombstone for the plains, he scoffs. Graveyards of names are scratched on that rock. Can only hope my name's the one that'll split this stone in twain. He points at the base of the monolith. Quentin, right there, hammered in just hard enough to send the damn thing crashing down. Tombstone for the plains? Aye! Quentin smiles ruefully. The dusty scratched the names of the dead on this monument here. He gestures around him and on the walls of this place. Not enough space by my reckoning, but no matter, they do their best. Can barely read half the names. What are you doing here? Reading the new arrivals. Try and find a new one every day. Try and remember if I knew them. Nothing more. The dustmen record the names of all that have died on this monument. Yeah. Aye, they scratch him on this rock. Uh, I don't know why they take the trouble to take accounting of the dead. The dusties have more care for the living. The living? Ah, you know about the dustmen mourners that come to this place. They aren't mourning the dead. See, they are mourning the living. You can barely get a word in them edgewise without them asking to mourn some poor living bug for you. Well, I don't need to ask why they mourn the living because I think All right. they already know. The dustmen think All right. that death is a very good thing. Oh, there are more thugs! Oh, there Done. are really m many thugs. Well, we'll kill all those thugs. 
of course, no problem. They are cramping up. No, don't run away on me. Nice one. Done. Why are they running away? Done. All right. Where is the other thug? There. Kill him. Bam. I'm gone. All right. Done. You Done. are not All killing right. the nameless one, guys. It's quite impossible, you know. Done. Davis, get out of the way. Rusty Done. dagger. Oh, we'll talk to these thugs. This thug wears a dark scowl like some grotesque mask. He narrows his eyes as you approach him. Greetings! Shut your pike in hole, you ugly bastard. No one said you could talk to me. Now sod off the four eye ties of your face and bleed you. Try it and you'll get a few new holes your own. Oh, we'll start a fight with this one as well. You see a heavy set looking man. Greetings. All I'm right. gone. Oh, our inventory is full. problem Morty we killed all of them thugs because we don't like thugs I'm actually. gone all right. oh yeah that's that's going down there well 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 how to use the bandages select item bandages on you. Well, it doesn't really heal that much. Oh, but we are fine now, I guess. Well, actually, we should also fight with the scalpel because I think it's the better one. All right. Ingress. What are you about? You see a haggard woman wrapped in rags, wrapped in rags. Her hair is disheveled and dirty, and her complexion is extremely dark. Burns cover her arms and her right hand is fused is a fused lump of flesh. It looks melted like wax exposed to a great heat. Ooh. Updated my journal. Greetings. What is it you want to me? The woman's accent is thick and you are having difficulty making out what she is saying. You want to me to leave? Not leaving this city, so I'm not. I can't. Try it. It's not a city, it's a prison. It's everywhere. Everywhere? There's worlds, there's... Her eyes gleam madly. Plains that be sinking sands, fields, earthy nettles be, sightless worlds, where your limbs are given life and hate, cities of dust whose people are dust and whisper ash, the house without doors, the twilit lands, twilit lands, the singing winds, the singing winds. She starts to sob quietly, but she seems all of, out of tears. And shadows, the terrible shadows there be. Where are these places? What a sensible thing to ask. Where's, where's them places? 
She flings the lump of her right hand in an arc, gesturing at the cityscape. There's all here be. Doors, doors. Here to everywhere. Well, she means the portals, I guess. Doors? You? You're not knowing this? She squints at you and her teeth start chattering. Tell you I will. Beware, every space you walk through or touch in this thrice-cursed city. Doors, gates, arches, windows, picture frames, the open mouth of a statue, the spaces between shelves. Beware any space bounded on all sides. All these are doors to other places. Alright, but we must go now. Oh, a thug! Hello! You coming our way? We will attack him. She would have helped us. I'm gone. Awesome! Let's talk to her again. Greetings, Ingress. Eh, hey, you! What is it you want me now? You want me to leave? Okay. What are those keys you were talking about? Every door has a key, it does. And with this key, they show their true nature. An arch becomes a portal, a picture frame becomes a portal, a window becomes a portal. All eager to take you someplace else, they steal you away. She raises the lump of her right hand. And sometimes what's on the other side takes part of you as a tithe. Alright. Well, we'll go through this portal here. Guardian spirit, this spectral figure materializes from the gloom of the passageway ahead and quickly moves to block your path. It floats before you. It's once human features twisted in a mask of rage. Defile us! Leave this place at once! Greetings! Well, leave now. Its booming voice echoes down the halls. This place is forbidden to the living. Leave while you still can. I have some questions first. Seek your answers elsewhere. This place is a sanctuary for the dead. I shall not permit their slumber to be disturbed by the intrusions of yet another insolent mortal. Another? Has someone else been here? If you must know, yes, there is another intruder who, even now, continues to violate the sanctu sanctity of these hallowed halls. The anger in the spirit's voice fades. He seems somewhat saddened by the admission. The souls of my brothers and sisters cry out for peace. Why don't you drive this intruder away? I cannot. The coward has sealed himself within the inner chamber of the mausoleum. He has erected powerful wards that bar my entrance into the chamber. It is from there that he calls upon his dark arts to awaken my brethren brethren and bends them to his evil will. Sounds to me like you need the help of one intruder to get rid of another. The spirit remains silent for several long moments. You can almost feel the weight of his lifeless gaze upon you. Yes, you might prevail where I have failed. If you will pledge to rid me of this black guard, I shall grant you passage. What say you? Updated my journal. I'll do it. So be it. The spirit slowly begins to fade until only the echoing of its disembodied voice remains. But take heed. Tread lightly in these halls, lest you join the others in eternal rest. All right. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. All right. 
Hmm. Oh, he's a sturdy one. Damn it. Ouch. Damn. It's really tough. I'll use a clutch channel on myself. All right. Damn. Did you see that? Well, I shall equip a bludgeoning weapon for fighting skeletons, I guess. Hmm, we can take... Done. Oh, we can desecrate everything here. No problem. Yeah. Alright. I wonder if Morte also has a level up. No. But he has pretty soon. Alright. What's... what was that? I'm gone. Damn it! Damn it! <coughs> Damn it! Get your... Damn! Critical misses everywhere. I'm gone. Oh, more skeletons. Damn. Die. Bam. Full again will equip some of the jewelry to make space in our inventory, I guess. We can put those in a quick weapon. And let's look at the hammer. 1 to 6 crushing. Cry bar, 1 to 6 crushing, speed 4, hammer speed 6. I think. A higher speed is actually a bad thing, but yeah. Oh, this looks... This looks awesome. It looks awesome. Plus... Two I'm gone. Hammer of awesome looks. Done. Done. It's probably a bad weapon compared to the other one, but hey, who cares? I'm gone. Ouch. What is this? All right. I'm gone. Alright. Done. Alright. Oh my. That's a big one. Okay. We will switch weapon. My mod is pre in pretty bad shape. But it's not a problem, I should be able to resurrect him. 
Oh, that one is really tough. Die already. Damn. Damn. Looks like my skills have increased. Nice. Will level up Mortar. His saving saving throws have increased. His hit points. One hit point gain, two hit point gain from constitution bonus. Fighting skills have improved. You are now a better skull. I wonder what is how if if we are even able to rest in here. Not sure. Mausoleum in a chamber. Well, we. Whoa! Look at that! I found the right way! I never entered this. I, I never played that far remotely, but I found the right way. Well, I think we should rest. Can we rest? How do we rest? Ah, oh, there, rest. It's too dangerous to All rest right. here. Well, done. No surprise All right. there. We shall kill more skeletons and then go outside to rest. Ah, oh, nice. Whoa, that was devastating. Let's kill another. Damn it. I'm gone. Oh, I like this. We're really picking up some strength here as a party. Damn. Awesome. Oh, a lot of bandages. That's just what we needed. Alright. Skeletons running around here. Oh, an ambush! Oh, 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 that's actually, I think that's bad. Huh? Ugh, I'm hurt. Okay. Okay, now we look really hurt. Yeah. How much of this is... Oh, still a lot of unexplored stuff. Okay. I'm gone. I'm gone. Well, we should definitely rest. It's too dangerous. I'm gone, I'm gone. Okay. I'm gone. Done. Ok, 
Okay, nothing wrong here. Just some skeletons somewhere. Yep, well, we need to rest and I think the specter of the mausoleum won't mind. No rest. It's too dangerous to rest here. Oh, and there are some new thugs. I'm gone. Well, we need to Done. rest. We're in really bad shape. I'm gone. More thugs. All right. I'm gone. <laughs> Can we rest inside the restaurant? You cannot rest in this area. All right. Why? The zombies have no help. These gates are made from a featureless black metal. There doesn't appear to be any way to open them. All right. Damn, I really need to rest. I'm gone. Hmm. Well, I'll make a brief interruption to be right back. <laughs> 